Mahalo everyone and welcome back to another deck video here on the Jolly Scarecrow's channel. Today we're presenting a, uh, a new type of video for our channel, our What If series, where we take a character from the anime and see what it would be like if they played uh, Master Jewel. And it's really just kind of about updating their decks. We're trying to avoid using archetypes. It's more about the kind of themes and values that that individual had and applying that to um, the modern game. And we're going to start off with a Weevil deck because he's one of the first characters we were introduced to. Um, we know that Weevil likes um, insects and um, particularly his insect decks have a kind of dual personality in that there's a lot of swarming involved. And then there's also uh, locking down the opponent with floodgates. And this deck, um, I feel, combines those two really nicely. Um, I won't go into too much detail because after this duel, we're going to have a couple of replays for you where you can see some of the combos in action for yourself. The main aim of the deck is to yeah lock your opponent down with floodgates like their Kona B1 and Skill Drain and essentially dominate with uh, high attack insects which you can bring out in um, lots of different ways such as the Kakuda Vulture Evolution or Giant Ballpark and generally kind of overwhelm your opponent that way. Um, your main engine revolves around sending Gokipol to the graveyard uh, straight from your deck um, and that can either be used to destroy monsters or to get things to your hand, such as Parasite Paranoid or Resonance Insect, which either allow you to lock your opponent's monsters, paras parasitize them, or search for your big beaters like Doomdozer or like uh, Kaiju or this super armored robot. Uh, and they can then be your big bosses, which under Skill Drain can hopefully uh, go straight through your opponent's threats. Um, this deck's really good at summoning perfect the ultimate great moth as well, which for uh, any uh, weevil deck is probably a, a, a must. Um, so yeah, what I think I'm going to do is go straight into some Master Jewel replays and yeah, show you what this deck's like in action. Okay, so actually this hand isn't particularly brilliant and could definitely have uh, resulted in a loss if they'd ashed the opening play. Um, Basically here, I, I could have gone into Heatwave, but instead I go into Codebreaker and set Skill Drain. And luckily I'm playing Dragon Maid. They're very susceptible to Skill Drain. Um, so immediately they try and get off Kitchen, but its effects negated. They go in with their Fusion Summon, so they get a 3000 Beta. Um, but that's, you know, relatively, I say relatively easily dealt with down the line. Codebreaker's nice because it comes back to me. I draw Maxi, which isn't helpful. And at this point I have a choice between either playing Heat Wave to prevent them from summoning or gambling that they're going to keep wanting to fusion summon and use Max C. So I opt for the Max C route. And um, it does pull off. They get We get two or three little draws out of it. Um, the card I'm wanting to draw is, uh, is the Parasite because that will allow me to immediately infect one of their monsters and use my face down uh, cocoon to summon a insect from my deck, as well as the perfectly ultimate great moth that's in my hand. Um, unfortunately, I only get to draw yeah, one off with uh, with resonance insect. So in this instance, I use the heat wave set resonance insect so they can't summon another monster and overwhelm me this turn. And I know that I'm gonna get the search off resonant insect, which means I can get the kaiju. And that means that with the skill drain, um, I can special summon the Kaiju and the Doomdozer. Here they max C in their own end phase. It's a misplay from them. Um, but they, uh, you know, could cost them a few draws. I end up special summoning, obviously, the Kaiju and the Doomdozer. Um, send Gokapol to get the Retaliating C. Make a bit of a mistake here. I should probably keep Retaliating C in hand. Uh, there's no need to rush into that Dragon Maid knowing that they're probably going to use that fusion spell next term, and uh, I could just retaliate and see off that. So they get rid of uh, Doomdozer and retaliating C, but it allows me to search for that parasite, the all-important parasite that I've been up to the whole game. And during their end phase, I do exactly what I said. Um, summon the big 
uh, super armored robot from the deck and then summon out um, the perfectly ultimate great moth and to top it all off I draw into a uh, giant ballpark um, they negate uh, this which which doesn't mean anything really because it's all about giant ballpark and it means that I can send my normal insect to the grave to special summon all three of them and wipe them out from 7,800 life points. And that there is a, a Weevil deck beating Dragon Maids. So this duel kind of shows what happens when things don't go according to plan, but it's very similar. It's again against Dragon Maids, so you'll notice the Resonance Insects and the Skill Drain play um, are very similar. Here I play there only can be uh, there can only be one, and it basically cripples the pair of us uh, for the remainder of the game. Um, they have uh, what some would definitely call an odd tech, which I didn't expect, which um, basically turns this into a grind game. Here you can see I uh, play the Salomon Great off the Gokke Bowl. I kind of wish I could have more links that I could um, use to get rid of my resonant insect and um, and Gokke poles, and I might search for that in terms of a way to improve the extra deck. Here they Harpy's Feather Duster, my skill drain, and there can only be one, and so at this point I'm like, well, that's problematic. They can go straight in here. Luckily, Retaliating sees such a good card against Dragon Maids because they're constantly fusion summoning, and so we can set this in defense, and it means that their materials get banished. Um, rather than going to the graveyard, so you can stop them doing a lot of their cyclic plays. They're still able, obviously, to get out some advantage, but I'm able to use my Salaman Great to, um, to decent enough effect, plus my Max C has gone through, so I am still drawing. Dieting C here lets me select my Parasite. Got the perfectly ultimate Great Morph in hand. Here I do a misplay. I should parasitize their... Um, Kitchen Dragon Mage, knowing that it's not going to last very long, and that will mean I can uh, summon the ultimate Great Moth that's in my hand. I don't do this. Um, I instead use it uh, on, on the House Dragon Mage to try and prevent it from being destroyed, and then kaiju you over it, uh, which I've collected from the Resonance Insect, and then play the perfect the ultimate Great Moth. So it kind of works out. Um, the Insect is lovely for um, recursion, putting all of those materials back into my deck. And from here, I think I'm doing all right. Certainly if they hadn't got their one of Harpy's Feather Duster, I'd be in a fantastic position. Unfortunately, they're easily able to remove the ultimate Great Moth. Um, and then we're in a funny scenario with, with, uh, with Chicken Game for a, a long time. And you can see Dragon Maids are known for their ridiculous advantage. And in this bit of the duel, I, um, yeah, I'm just generating so much. Up until the point where I have my 2400 attack beta, I can pretty much knock over everything they have. They can't fusion summon because um, they've got a face up dragon on the field and it, um, they're only the one that stops them. And I run into a mirror force. Uh, I've no idea why they're playing that. The rest of the time they're playing generally good dragon maids. But yeah, there's mirror force in there and it um yeah got rid of my um my lovely insect and it puts us in this game state where the pair of us can't get rid of our face up monsters even though we don't want them i don't want residence insects there i want to search with it um they don't want their dragon made there and whatever we draw we just can't get rid of our face up monster here giant pool parks damage calculation uh damage reducing effect is great because basically i can just ping into all of their monsters I don't take any damage as long as I've got an insect to send, but uh, if it's a dragon, they have to um, have a choice of which dragon to remove from their field. And then you can see the set. I'm like, what, what, what could this be? Could it be one of their, you know, their big dragon senders? No, it's another rogue tech. It's blue eyes, white dragon. No idea. What this Dragon Maid player is 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 doing. Um, I don't play Dragon Maid, so I've never seen a Blue Eyes in one of their decks. You can see here their frustration ramming into my monsters, and yeah, they they give up on the grind game, which 
uh, very soon I was going to draw probably into one of into one of my tributes so I could get over it um, but yes that's a uh, another another win there for the weevil deck